اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم dear brothers and sisters السلام علیکم my name is شویب خان and welcome to maxafter.com another exciting tutorial in this tutorial we'll be using element 3d by video copilot and this time we'll be exploring the shutter effect by element 3d so this is what we'll be doing so as you can see it's perfect 3d you know and has been shattered and it forms back its shape so this is what we'll be doing are you guys ready so let's start the tutorial right let's go and create a new composition you can also create it with this button here and also we go to composition new composition and let's say 1280 by 724 frames per second and you can name here tuts and press OK. We have created a composition. Let's go and create a new layer. Layer new solid. And let's call it element. And press OK. And we go and find our element. And so we have got this element here. Now if you go to scene setup, we don't have a 3D you know text. A shattered 3D text. We have got some primitive starter pack and it has got some shattered material. We haven't got, you know, a shattered text. Now, how are we going to create a shattered text? So, in this tutorial, in this tutorial, let me just close. Okay, in this tutorial, first we go to uh, 3DS Studio Max and create a shattered, you know, text and then we'll export that into element 3d so also uh, explore a bit of a workflow between 3ds max and after effects right let's go to 3ds max well right, here we are in 3ds max there are different ways of shattering the product if you don't want to use a plugin or script you can go to my tutorial and and here you can check out you know the transformers tutorial because uh, in this one I have showed uh, the method of shattering you know a text inside 3d studio max but in this tutorial uh, we'll be downloading a script which is free it's, it's quite handy and it's easy to shatter you know for that we will go to Google and we'll type here shatter script for 3ds max and if you search it you've got this fracture script shot spot here so you click here and we have got this script here, right? And we've got this one, 10.85, which is newer version, I think. And you can just click here and then download it, save it, you know, anywhere that you like. Let me just save it to desktop. So now it's saved in the desktop. Now close this one. Now what we do here is we we'll, we go and create our text first, right? So we go to shapes and go to text and we have got this text here is max text so we just click here let's solo this one and you can also you know rotate it with this gadget here now I used a text that is steelfish and it's a free font let me type here e element 3d right now let's go and apply bevel to it go to modify and apply bevel and here let's just give it a thickness of 20 right and also let me just give it a height an outline and this is for the front and minus one here so now we've got a nice beveled edge just shade it right so we've got our simple text here now let's go and shatter it with our script now you go to max script click here and run script and I've got it here you know in my scripts but you know let's go to desktop and select this one that we just downloaded and press OK now it comes with this menu 
Now it says pick object. We pick the object. Add number of parts. Let's say we want like 150 parts. And is asking multicolor or uniform color. We go for uniform color because it will have only one shader. If you go to multicolor, it will have like hundreds of you know shaders imported in Element 3D. So let's stick to uniform and break in 50 in 150. So now it's breaking. Now as you can see that it has done the job. If you close it, and if you select you know different parts, you will see that. It has been broken very nicely. Like if you go to shaded edge faces, you'll see that you know it has broken it nicely into different parts. Now, so you have got your text now, broken text. Very simple. Just go to the menu here and export and export again. And let's go and select GW OBG exporter. If you can't see it, and name it like say shatter text and let's again you know save it somewhere on the desktop or anywhere you know and save so it comes with this menu here let's keep it triangles you know and flip y z axis keep the rest as it is and press export so now exporting done right so we've done here at 3d and now we go to scene setup in element 3d and here we will import the text go to desktop and this is a shutter object open we've got a nice shutter object here as you can see no so let's go to presets and apply a nice preset shader let me just apply this one this looks nice or probably this one right go to scene We've got some shaders here, right click remove unused. So we are left with only one shader now. Go and click OK. So leave it on one for for now. And uh, click OK. So now we've got like 3D, go to layer, new camera. We got our camera here, press OK. And now what we do is we go to element, press E on your keyboard to reveal the menu. Let me just go to group one, right? And here in particle look, you've got multi object. Enable it. And we've got scatter here. So we just scatter it, like, let's say, like that, you know. And then we go straight down to animation engine and click enable. Put a keyframe here at frame zero for animation. And let's go to four frame, uh, four seconds and turn it to 100, right? Press U to reveal the keyframes. So right now you can see that it's disappearing, right? So what we do here is we go back to scene setup and here just assign two to it as well, you know. Now as you can see, that's animating, right? Now what we do is go back to group one and Let's go to particle replicator and move it back. You know, move it back from where you want the animation to start. For example, here, like that. And let's say just move it towards right. Okay, and let me just go to scatter again. Just increase it to 13 or something. And also, we go to rotation, rotation random, you know. Make it like 50 or something. And now, if you render, so it's rotating too much, right? So you can put the rotation to, let's say, five or something. And also, with that, what we do is we go to animation, and this is directional, that's fine. And also, Let's go and change the direction option. I want the animation to, you know, just start it from when it ends, it should end from here so it looks nice. Like that, you know. Like that. OK. 
Okay, and let's just move it back. No. Move it back further, you know. Let's change the background. Let's make it like something. So that we can see properly. And just move it, you know. To this corner, you know. We don't want to see it, so. Let's just animate it like that. Uh, also, you can animate the camera so when it reaches here somewhere, press P, put a keyframe here, again put a keyframe here, and just move these in the beginning. And so it reaches here somewhere. I want this to have you know something like this. So this angle looks nice, and like that. Also, go to layer, new solid. And just create an ellipse, you know, around it. Press F. So this looks nice. Let's go and apply fill to it, you know. Also, you apply shadow, you draw shadow, change the color. Now, if you render, you know, you'll see how it looks. So Right now it's coming very fast, but I want it to you know slow down when it comes here. So basically, when it comes here, let me just put a keyframe you know for the animation. So we've got three keyframes. Now you know what we can do is we can increase this one you know like that, and right click Easy Ease Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease if you can't see it. So it comes here and slows down you know. So this looks nice, and also I just wanna you know. Rotate it a little bit more. Well, the rotating is rotation is a bit too much, so you can just go to fifty. New. Let me just put a new background, you know, I'm not happy with the background. Apply fill to it. So this looks nice. Right? So it's basically a simple, you know, animation. You can also turn on the motion blur for it. Well, I think it looks nice without motion blur. So that's how simple it is. You know, you can create many nice animations with this tool. So there are other, you know, tools here. You know, you can rotate it more if you like. You know, and also. You've got dual animation mode, turn it on as well, directional options, you know, again, you know, it gives you another option of, you know, changing the direction of, of the shutter. So basically, I just wanted to show you, you know, the workflow from 3DX Max to After Effects, you know, and this is how you can, you know, very easily and nicely, you know, you can shatter your object and also what you can do now is for example let's say I've got this I just shatter a few pieces here you know
and you go file export and let's say name it shatter2 and export now you can very simply just go to scene setup and import your second one right and if you press OK and shut down this one size going to look you know so you got like let me just Or you can turn on three, you know. So it's like a you know one of those chocolate ads, you know. If you create a chocolate bar, and this one, for example, it's a bar, and you want to add chocolate to it, this is how you can add you know chocolate crumbs to it, you know, like that. And also go to setup, and let me just change it to you know different color. Or probably you know uh, change this one to this color and this one to probably something like that. Or do I best? Yeah. Now let's see how it looks. So it's a, just a simple you know idea. You know that's how you can work with this tool. Basically, you know it's filling up the broken pieces. Or if you wanna if you wanna break up more, you go there again and just keep breaking it, you know, or like that or something like that. You know. And now if you go export it, Shutter three, export. So it's done. Go to setup and let me just let's say delete this one and import the third one now. Let's open. So press OK again and let's see you know. I just want to give it a number, you know, it's three. And also let's just give it a different look. So now you can see the three E is just broken and the other one comes and fills it up, you know. So you this side you know you can create different animations with this tool. So basically just wanted to show you the workflow between Max after uh, bit the workflow between 3ds max and after effects max after basically just to let you guys know that actually this is where i have extracted the name max after 3ds max and after effects so it's max after right so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial once again my name is shweb khan from maxafter.com assalamu alaikum and peace be on all of you